Hey, what's going on? You're tuned into the Daily Geek right here on SweetGeek.tv. I'm your host, Griffin Grandberg, and today is a cold, brisk day here in rural South Dakota. It's August 21st, 2008. Let's get to the geek news, starting with story number one. Have you ever considered buying a business instead of just starting one from scratch? Well, Entrepreneur.com has an amazing article that you need to check out. If you've ever considered it, and in fact, the article is called What to Consider Before Buying a Business, I'm going to include it on the interesting links below. Story number two, Comcast, which everyone has been suspicious of slowing down internet speeds, has fessed up to it quite a few times now. And they're saying they're slowing internet service speeds down for its heaviest users up to 20 minutes. Story number three, are you over 21? Are you on Facebook? Have you not seen a beer ad yet? Well, chances are you're going to start seeing them because they're going to start allowing them more now. Story number four, Comscore is reporting that Google has stolen away some of Yahoo's market share. However, Baidu, which is China's search engine, is, has secured the third most used search engine spot worldwide. Story number five, Bill Gates and Jerry Seinfeld. What's up with that? I don't know that. Uh, okay, so I'm not the best Jerry Seinfeld impression, uh, but... Uh, they're gonna start doing ads together. How about that? One of the richest mans in the world and one of well, it's Jerry Seinfeld They're paying him ten million dollars to do so in a three hundred million dollar campaign that is gonna be blitzed all over I'm sure you'll see them just like Apple's, you know, PC versus Mac commercials uh, Except for the actors are getting paid a little bit more there story number six. Do you have a blog? Have you thought about starting a blog? Uh, do you not like to write then you probably should give it up uh, But if you do like to write or you have something that you think you need to get out there and you want to start a blog There's a great post that has a lot of prominent bloggers out there and their advice We're gonna give you a link to the to that article to that blog post on the interesting links below So make sure you check that out story number seven the palm trio pro which I was actually excited about Adam Richardson from CNET says it's not as good as it seems uh, I'm going to link you to the article that he wrote. Uh, it's a lot more detailed than I can get into now. It's going to be on the interesting links below. Story number eight, uh, Intel is sending out a list of their new processors for ultra portables that HP and Lenovo are developing. They're also including details about a quad core uh, mobile processor, which should be really cool. Uh, story number nine, is China blocking its users from iTunes? There's definitely a good chance of it. There's lots of people complaining in China that they can't get on the iTunes store. Uh, it turns out that the iTunes store has approved some free to bet uh, music. So that might be behind that. Once we know for sure, I'm sure we'll talk about it. Story number 10, uh, US companies, or excuse me, a US company is suing Nintendo for the technology behind the Wiimote. Uh, it says that it has three patent, uh, patents in the US for the technologies behind it. As we know more details, we will give it to you. If you want to check them out for yourself, we'll include a link to the article on the interesting links below. Story number 11, Warren Buffett, probably the richest man I think in the US right now, uh, is spotlighting the USA's national debt crisis. There's actually a documentary coming out called IOUSA, which is hitting a limited release here in the US. Uh, but he's teaming up with another billionaire investor to kind of spotlight how bad of a crisis the US economy is under. Uh, the link to the article is in the interesting links below, so check that out. Well, that's it for the Geek News today, August 21st, 2008. I'm your host, Griffin Grandberg, for The Daily Geek on SweetGeek.tv, and I'll catch you tomorrow.